welcome once again thanks for watching this video this is the son of man fashion photo this in this video i'm going to take you to how to cut a tra how to cut a tra simple or easy way of getting a nice and fitted tra so these are the measurements that i'll be going by we have waist waist to knee tra length round knee round tie then the hem or the circumference of the tra so these are the measurements that you'll be using to get a tra okay so first of all my fabric is folded in two you are coming to cut the front face my fabric is folded in two this is fabric to fabric. so first of all this is how you fold it you see it my fabric is folded in two then from here what next is you will pick the measurement the measurement the trial length that you had you uh minister the travel the trial length from here from this side to the other side or from there to the other side that one will depends on you where you want your trial to go or where you want to start your waistline from then you do what you uh, mark two inches at the edge of the fabric that the selling side two inches you take away two inches or you mark two inches as soon this is the two inches line then from there you rule a line to get your two inches out then from it's from that two inches line that you're going to minister your measurements according to okay so let me just do that and show it to you so this is what i'm referring to this is my waistline this is waist to knee this is the line and then this is the second press on the hand then this is the allowance that i added for the hem. okay so before you start you divide your waist measurement your waist measurement is divided into two uh, into four rather the waist measurement is divided into four then the rest will be in two so first of all the waist is 35 and half or 35.5 so that 35.5 divided by 4 you divide the 35.5 by 4 you get 8 3 quarter so i'm using 8 3 quarter that 8 3 quarter plus 1 inch sewing allowance so that will be what 10 or that will be 9 3 quarter nine three quarter so i just use them okay so on this waist uh, on the waistline you measure from this edge see place your measurement this way then you minister your 10 you minister your 10 you see this is the 10 that you means from this edge uh, yeah, from these two inches the other one that you take so from here you, you place your 10 then you minister it this is the 10 till from here you move down to the knee side oh there's no go there let's work on the crotch first let's work on the crotch first so my crotch depth the crotch depth this is very important most of the time people have problem on your, the crotch because if you show a tra and your crotch is not good or, or it's not well you end up by having a problem so the problem is always for the crotch so you have to take very attentive time on how to get your crotch so this crotch the length that i'll be using the crotch length so my crotch length what i'm going to use for this tra you see this is the waist that i'm using the waist measure uh, the waist measurement that i'm using that's the waist divided by four plus the one inches that i added i'll place this exact measurement here then i'll add two inches to it to get the crotch length okay i said the waist divided by four plus the eleven that i added which is uh, one inches so i'll place that exact measurement from the waistline down to so my waist divided by four i'm using 10 from here to here is 10 so that 10 plus the two inches will give you two so this is how it will be so from this line the waistline down to the 12 inches and you match and from there you are going to join this point 
to the 12 inches that you mark here but before that you have to measure the exact you have to get your tent to here so you have to place your tape measure this way to get your tent like the way you did for the waist the way you did for the waist the waistline you see this tent so you bring that tent to here down here you see then you make sure that you can construct your straight line so you will join this point to that point then then you will, you will slope the front one inches by one inch you slope the front one inch because the front is always deeper than the back yes you give it a shape the back is always up because of the buttons or because of the buttons so anyhow you call it so you slope it one inch then you bend it to a line so you get your straight line like this so that's how it's going to be so from there we're going to divide your rhyme around tie the round tie which is 25 so you divide the 25 by 2 okay you divide your 25 by 2 and if we divide 25 by 2 you'll get what 12.5 so this is 12.5 so on the 12.5 you're going to mark it you indicate it here so from there you construct your curve to get your foot okay from there from the 12.5 that's the way the uh, round tie divided by 2 the round tie divided by 2 so you place it on the line this way then you mark and you construct your curve so this is how it's going to be that's your round tie divided by 2 the round tie divided by 2 you place it this way round tie divided by 2 you place it this way now with your 12.5 so you notch a mark here and you construct your cross so that to meet this line to meet this line so what next i'll be doing is my flap we usually I cut with the flap i do the cutting with the flap so i'm going to add allowance for the flap here i'm going to add allowance for the flap before that your zip my zip name that i'll be using like i'll be using let's say you can use either 6 6.5 or maximum 7 for the zip maximum 7 for the zip so let me use the 7 so i'll notch on this 7 i'll notch here I'll mark here you see so from there you you from the crotch lines you measure 2.5 inches for the flap for the flap and then in the zip for the flap and then the zip so this is going to be for the flap and then so when i'm still sewing i'll just fold fold it this way then i'll insert the zip then also so there's no need for me to be draining the flap again so that i can do all those things so i yeah, just cut it once straight forward and that will work. so from there you come back to your knee side no but before then you are going to you see this one you place your round tie divided by two exactly you didn't we didn't add any sewing allowance to it we didn't add any sewing allowance to it you see that which is 12.5 and then it's uh, 25 so you move out one inch here for the sewing allowance one inch one inch so it will that will be what uh, 13.5 for the sewing allowance you see that so this is how it's going to be so from here we are going to divide from this point to the allowance that are either you divide it into two you are going to measure it then you divide it into two so if you measure it you get you have 11 so 11 by 2 will give you, will give you 5.5 .5. so on this line you will mark your 5.5 then .5. the circumference of the hand will mark the same 5.5 .5. so this is how it will be so this will now serve as the midpoint for us to minister the rest of our measurement in okay so now let's come to the round knee the round knee is 18 inches 18 inches so that 18 inches divided by 2 
18 divided by 2. We have what? 9. Is that right? 18 divided by 2. You have 9. You see, it's 18 by 2. You get 9. So that 9, you divide the 9 to into 2. So that will be 4.5. Then you place the 4.5 in the middle. So half will be there, this side, half will also be the other side. So that's how it's going to be. But don't forget that we didn't add any sewing allowance. So you add the sewing allowance, what? Uh, one inch. And then that one, if you divide it by two, you get half. So you move your half. So that'll be what? Five. Here will be five. Here will be what? Five. So you see, this is how it's going to be. You see it? So half is here, half is there. You come to the hem to or the circumference, you do the same thing. The circumference is what? Uh, the circumference is circumference is 13.5. 13.5 by 2. You get 6.2. You see? Uh, 7.2 rather. 7.2. So that's 7.22 by 2. Uh, 6, that will be 6.7 rather. 6.7. 6.7 it should be somewhere here so that one two you divide it by two so so the seven points and the six point seven six point seven divided by two plus one inch so in allowance and then that one inch you are going to divide it down to two so let's say everything will be like the circumference is what 13.5 plus one inches now divided by two, so you will get in, uh, four point, uh, three point nine. Not three point nine. You see it. So here we take half. Here we take half. Now the three point uh, uh, fourteen. That will be fourteen point five divided by four. So this way is going to be four. So that half will be there. Half will be here. So this is how it's going to be. You see, this is how it's going to be. So from there, we're going to join our point to point, point to point to get the shape of our graph. Okay. So let's go over whatever we did. So here is the waist measurement divided by four to get this line. So from there, that exact measurement you add two inches to it to get your crotch depth so from there you slope the front one inches so that you bend it to this line to get the front flow and this is my flap i am cutting with the flap so i added a flap 2.5 inches to it so to get this shape so from here your run tie divided by two if you place it on this two inches line that we mark to here you get your 12.5 and that 12.5 that is the exact so the sewing allowance is coming out here so that's one inches so from that one inches you measure you measure from this point to the one inches allowance that we mark divided by two you will get 5.5 and that 5.5 you stand on this two uh, two inches line that we mark you, you you mark the your 5.5 which will be here you do same to, to this side too then from there you run a tie a running rather running the running is what is 18 inches 18 inches divided by two you get nine so on that nine you are going to stand this is the midpoint so you divide that nine to what by two but before that we are going to add one inches so in allowance so the nine for each it should be this way but because of the sewing allowance we added we move to five which is one inches half here half there okay you come to the hands and you do the same thing too so after that you are going to join this curve you are going to join this point to get the shape of our trap so after joining our points this is how our trap is going to be this is the shape that you're going to have so what you're going to do is you're going to grind this point this one to the other one with a straight through you see that so from there we grind this point to the next point 
okay so from there you you you're going to take your head cap your head cap so you're going to join this point to the other side to get your the shape of the hip so from there you join this one with the other one with the straight cap with the straight rule then from there to, to the other side okay that's how you're going to do it so this is the shape for the tra. This is the shape for the tra. That's the front. This is for the front. Okay, we're going to cut this one out. We cut this one out. We use this one to get the back. Okay. After cutting, this is what we're going to achieve for the front. You see it. This is what we're going to achieve for the front. Very nice and simple. So. I intentionally didn't cut this line because I want to get my bag before I trim it off. Okay, so it is from here that you are going to place on this side to get our back piece to. So you place the front piece or the front on the other fabric on the other side of the fabric to get your bag. But before that, I am going to trim this area to get the same shape as the front okay so after cutting it out we're going to shift the back at the front backward in, on the interval of two inches on the interval of two inches okay we will shift the front backwards on the interval of two inches but before that you're going to trace this crotch line you see you extend this line then you mark for two inches you see that for two inches then you apply same here down okay then from here i added one inches to the back for my back that for my back that i will be half half okay so from i just construct a curve the simple curve like this to get a back so what you're going this side you're not going to add anything you just cut on the exact line so after that you trim out this uh, asset that you left here and do that so guys after cutting this side is going to be this what you're going to do and this is my piece for my track see that very nice and simple very nice and simple so guys this is what we have at the end of the day thank you for watching this video please share and if you are new please you try and subscribe so that you can get more of such videos and watch thank you see you on some other time